Hey everybody in YouTube land. We we're just finishing up with this 62 Chevy C10. Uh, we just installed a set of uh, digital, or is it Dakota digital gauges. Now these are not the digital gauges, but they do have a couple of digital features on them. But as you can see here, just got done installing this bad boy right here. And if I turn on the key, everything works. not having mile per hour rpm or coolant and oil because the vehicle's not running but it does work uh we're just finishing up with the battery and then we have to get this guy right here put in off to somewhere off to the side see where the owner wants this so let me get that to focus this lets us adjust so if you see the one the the number one on the top that works for these gauges on the left and then the number two was for the gauges for the right so so that's what that is for yep anyways so when the owner gets here to pick it up we'll ask where he wants to locate that but yeah this is a nice set of gauges everything works great runs good we're just uh finishing up with it and then we'll go for a little test drive and make sure everything works because we know everything except for the mile per hour works um the mile per hour one we'll have to um see as we start driving the vehicle to see if that works but everything else works pretty good we got all the wiring cleaned up um there was a problem with the 62 because they only have for the turn signal indicator let's see if i can get that to work right now so the turn signal indicator used to have a single bulb well that doesn't work for us to have left and right turn signals so we had to tee into the wires for the the turn signal indicator right here and tee into that to get the indicators to work on both sides of these but other than that this pretty much was a simple install um you do have to run a negative wire from the little control box that we have installed behind the dash and run a ground wire all the way to the sending unit and i think that was pretty much the only big thing where those two the turn signal and the running the ground for the the sending unit but everything else works great and then we had to go through the settings and adjust everything so we had to adjust the fuel pressure i know the fuel pressure but the fuel level indicator um so we do I have my oh i do have my light on why is my light on let's turn that off there you go sorry about that you guys so um where was i oh yes uh so we did have to go through the calibrations to calibrate for the fuel uh the voltage is normal we didn't have to mess with that the speedo we might have to we don't know yet until we start driving it tachometer was easy temperature it came with the gauges for the temperature <laughs> And oil pressure and this actually tells you the oil pressure as the engine's running not just uh, on and off like you know the older style was so everything else works great uh, and then he had a coil uh, not a coil I'm sorry a tachometer and we left that in here because we didn't know if he wants to take that out or not because now he's got this one but we have it hooked up so both of them are working but uh, if you guys have any questions about these digital gauges uh, let's see this is the brand that we used we use the digital dakota digital let's see if i can get that to focus better there you go dakota digital and we use the vhx so but it turned out pretty nice the customer wanted something that looked somewhat original but slightly retro and i think we did a pretty good job with this this one here don't worry about the bezel the lens i mean it's a little dirty we'll blow that off make sure it's all clean so uh when the customer picks it up you has no dirt or dust on it but anyways you guys have a good one and we'll see you out there